Yeah, Tim. All right, Tim. Okay. All right, I'm getting up. I know. Okay. All right, bye. Tim's on his way over. He says we're going drifting today. No, 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 no. But I've got a surprise for him. <laughs> <laughs> We're staying home to pull the engine out of the tundra. <laughs> Morning. Gotta get my coffee. Oh, he's gonna be so pissed. Now we're heading to the house of Schwartz. There's the red circle. He's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> See what kind of condition Michael's in this morning. <coughs> Good morning. We're going to drift Evergreen today. What do you mean no? What do you mean no? What are you gonna be? You gonna be a sissy pussy boy and not go? Really? I want to just go and make smoke noise and. Burn up fuel and tear up machinery. Are you recording? Yes. Wait, who am I? Another hour later, Dustin's finally arrived. Well, look, he's got a shirt on. Here's the loader. So I guess we're gonna fetch that bent up, busted up, broke up truck out of the shop. Will it start? It's like everything in mics. Just hit or miss. It might start, it might not. Fairly simple. When you think? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, what's the plan here? We got the jack to roll the front end out, basically, but it went catty wampus. You're just gonna have to. No, whoa, 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 whoa! I had a feeling some shit like this was gonna happen. That's why I was trying to get out here. Do we have another jack? Oh my god, look at that jack. Basically, the garage is just too small to pull the engine out in the garage, so we gotta drag the truck out. Poor communication leads to bullshit like this. If you gotta jerk it to get it going, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I said jerk it.
the time when you're losing faith in me for getting this swap done, because this is a fucking mess. looking at the logistics of pulling this out and it's actually packed in here pretty tight it's really making me second guess myself right now if it's gonna actually fit I do know from reading this is a 90 degree V on the V8 which is a pretty wide angle so it makes the engine pretty big physically there. look at how close the upper control arms are right there's a mount. it's like actually under <laughs> the valve cover mm -hmm. and it's like that on both sides how about it that's valid now the yeah, truck it, it, is, it, it, is. it has suffered a little bit of body damage well so. that's true it's tweaked but it's really tight in there so we're trying to figure out where to hook this engine up i'll hook a chain to it i guess well tim wants to fuck it up and i don't so i'm not gonna fuck it up it's not gonna come out though unless we cut this i'm thinking or else we're gonna thing. have to tilt it way up but we have a cutter. All right, well, we're gonna make a little more room. We decided getting this huge engine transmission and transfer case package out of here. Just, Brett, like you said, yeah, right just there. Just enough to Minimal slide it out the front. Amount. Yeah. Help, yep. I think the truck is going to need to be a little higher though, don't you think? Because the tail of that's going to have to drop down pretty low still to get it. I think we should pick the truck up maybe I'll pick two it up feet. And get logs under each side of the frame yeah. rail. All right, let's grab some logs. Stack that one on top of that, and I'll grab another one. That looks more like it. Since I don't have an air compressor down here, I had to go get my trusty Toyota truck with my trusty onboard air so we could have this plugged in so we can adjust this hair leveler. This side looks better, actually. Holy shit, it is tight in there. Am I lifting up on the back or what? Hold up. We gotta look for shit that's still hanging on. Right here's a uh, power steering line. It's gonna have to come off. Uh, harness is attached right here. All right, I'm gonna put this down. Gotta look for stuff that's still tight. You're probably supposed to separate the transmission and engine. We were hoping to just pull it out all as one piece though. But uh, we got this off to get over. Yo, Dustin, you see that right right here's what it's catching on. The oil pan. Hold on. Alright, so I don't know if you can tell him what to do to get it up over that. It looks like it almost like well. If you look at the tunnel, we yeah. can get through there if we it just looks like it. Yeah, okay. Can you come up at all? Yeah, but because what? the oil can's stuck. Like Why, don't you take some huh? Why don't we take some of that shit off? What shit? It Never mind, it's too late. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're trying, we're trying to pull it out all in one piece. Yeah. There it goes. Okay, oh, now, oh. now hold up. Oh, oh. Hold up, hold up. Don't go 
any further till we check it because if there's anything attached i want to get it off uh i mean there's bound to be something still attached careful guys hold on okay hold on right here's a wire if anything let it back down a little bit can you get that off of there i only got one hand unless i hand this off to jeff job to pull it, it doesn't look right yeah because it was about ready to go this was i was a little worried about this but they held up nice but i don't think about it these got fans? it and this thing here was close but these these they held, held up nice. that's where we had it hooked to because they didn't give us again yeah, they gave us no options because they figured oh it's gonna live in here forever man the thing it looks big you know it is big i was thinking like two more cylinders would add you know a little oh shit you gays what Oh, that's a fucking. Oh, yeah. Get the oh, JB weld out. Look, yeah, that's all totally fixable. Yep. We'll just break out the old plastic, uh, what's it called? The old hot stapler. The hot stapler break out JB the hot weld, stapler. It'll be absolutely fine. I told you not to hook it there. Oh. It's <laughs> but overall, that's not bad. Pretty not minor. Bad. Pretty the minor. Level of yeah. damage, given. Not too much damage, considering. Well. Which one was the one that had problems? Oh, was it the computer on? No, no it's this oh, one and yeah, and the other one. There. So we have a seat here. So now I'm gonna have to find me a wiring harness because I want to just get this out. Now I'm gonna start looking for a harness. Wait, it's Saturday. Damn it! I'm gonna have to wait till Monday to order a harness. We ain't fixing that. That shit's they all come bitched out. up. Of course they come out. But look, it's all bitched up and ripping apart. I ain't I fucking with it. that. My dad's got an aw he's a TV repairman. He's got an awesome set of tools. Yeah, well, but dude, Fast even if we... For rich, not, okay. But look, even if we fix that, the, All right, the, okay, the, look, it's busted. That's fine. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, I don't, okay, I don't think it's worth trying to fix it. Cool I know, like, if it was the last harness in the world, we'd fix it, but 
I'm just going to replace it. Not Old bad. Soda's Overall, here. Uh, not bad. Look at this gang, EGR, dual EGR back here. Look at that. So gay. So good. Double the beep EGRs. Double the pleasure. Well, I guess, I guess now we're going to go and pull out the other one to no, see wait. if this one will even fit. Yeah, well, really what I think we should do right now is we're going to look this thing over pretty good and see what all is broken because obviously the harness took a hit and I think we just broke the intake manifold. Uh, but we're going to fix that up, I think, because finding a new one probably wouldn't be too easy. Uh, That's a good one. Cheap. That's it wouldn't be cheap because it normally under normal circumstances it has no pressure no right. nothing yeah it's just gonna sit there it's actually this could be deleted completely because it's just nothing it's something oh, for your intake to hook it, to no it, that holds the <laughs> cover oh we can engine. easily fix that but we right. need the cover because it says 5.7 liter V8 I'm gonna measure between these upper control arms all right because they're so tight so I just wonder you know if this is 28 inches Yeah, I can eyeball it right here. You are. Right? There. 28 inches. Okay, same. Okay, now, now I'm happy. It will fit. It will fit, but we're going to have to move all this shit forward <laughs> a bit. No, this is, I think we're just going to put the rad in the back of the truck. Oh, well. Not that we would have to, though, because I know a lot of people want to know that this will fit. They want to know if they could put this in their Toyota and just kind of leave it. I should have did a more mild build for the first one, just to see if it does fit. Next time we're going to get a third gen, like a brand new third gen. I, I think that would be sick. It's really only like two inches longer from the back of the engine to the front of the fan. Like two inches longer, it's really not that bad. Okay. For, for two whole more cylinders, you would think it would be more. It's not bad at all. I think it'll fit. See these mounts? Well, mounting brackets. They look weird to me, but I wonder if they're similar. Lots of options. Hey, you guys watching, let me know what you think. I mean, we can cut those brackets off that frame. Damage. Weld them in here. Probably something in this. Or one of my other commenters said that uh, he thinks Lexus GS460 mount would make that engine bolt into this truck. But I he, I don't think he was 100% sure, but he said... Did he seem sure at well, all? Well, no, he seemed to... He, he had a clue, that's for sure. But he said the one, the, those GX460 comes with a 1UR V8, which is the same platform as this engine, as that engine, I mean. So, it's but then, but drive. then it's, well, well it's but it's, drive. but he said the frame is more like a Tacoma though, on the GX460. Okay. So he figured that maybe the, the frame was the same in the front, so the way it bolted in, maybe the mounts would make it work. Because if that's the case, then I'd just buy those mounts be much easier but welding those brackets in wouldn't be that bad hey guys make sure you subscribe to tacoma apocalypse and whiplash dvd click the like button leave me some comments and watch out for the bonus video i got coming we took the 05 tacoma to a mud bog and took it to treverton that's like coal country pennsylvania those videos will be coming up real soon too see you guys next time on tacoma apocalypse